med segment theorem. Now, to go over the tri triangle med segment theorem, what I'd like to do is do a quick little review of the trapezoid med segment theorem, all right? Um, because we did already talk about the med segment theorem for trapezoids. So when you guys, if you guys remember, we were looking at a trapezoid. We had parallel lines, right? And let's call this um, A, B, Devin, and Charles, OK? So when you had a trapezoid like this, and we said, if you guys remember, oh, remember if we can find the mid segments of two of our legs, right? Then, remember the mid segment, that means they cut it in half, right? If they cut these in half, this mid segment is parallel to the other bases, correct, right? And then also, we can find this length. And this length, let's call this uh, Eric and um, Eric and Frank. What we could say is, Eric and Frank is equal to 1 half the sum of AB plus CD. You have to know that formula for the rest of this year. That's going to come up, up and over and over again on your test. OK? I don't know. Is that it? How does that look? So anyways, um, so we have to know that formula. So if you forgot that formula, and you know it because it's on that test that we have, our last test, the mid-second formula, so you want to make sure you know that. So obviously, we're not talking about a trapezoid, though. I just wanted to review that with you. Now we're talking about the triangle mid-segment theorem. And let's just go back to Albert, Bertha, and CC. OK, you have a triangle that looks like that. If we find the two mid-segments of two of our sides, let's do AB and BC. They're the mid-segments. That means they cut them in half, right? What that tells us about the triangle is now, let's say this is P and Q. That says that this is now parallel to our other third side. All right? So when you have a mid-segment, if you have a mid-segment and a triangle, you now have proven that you have parallel lines, which is good because parallel lines are very important in this class, right? Because we like parallel lines and a transversal that helps us solve stuff. And then we have parallel lines. And then also, if I wanted to find the value of PQ, or the length of PQ, all it is is equal to 1 half times AC. And that's it. 1 half times AC. So for the, while the trapezoid, you had to add the two bases, here, you just find what it's parallel to and multiply by 1 half. OK? And that's the triangle mid-segment theorem. I believe I have 